Hi, this is Mark from My Blues Guitar. And today I've got something that I want to share with you. Some, uh, some facts that have come to light about which guitar Eric Clapton was playing on the night of the 19th of October, 1968, at the Forum, which uh, produced the three live tracks that we hear on the Goodbye album. On a few of the Facebook groups that I follow, there's been some quite hot debate going on about whether it was the 335 or the Firebird. I've long thought it was the Firebird, but interestingly, a picture came to light a couple of years ago showing Eric with an ES guitar on that night. Initially, people thought that it was the 335, the famous Cherry Red 335 that are used at the Royal Albert Hall and which was sold at auction uh, about 15 years ago for something like $850,000. But if you look at the headstock, you can see that it's bound and that it's got the diamond inlays that you see on a 3555. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look at it closely, you can see that it's got the diamond inlays you see on a 355 and not the small crown inlay that you see on the 335. And also, it's bound, as you can see. So obviously it's not the famous Cherry Red 335. Either it's a guitar that Eric borrowed or one that he was trying out with a view to purchasing, or maybe it's one he bought and used and just never, never used live again. There are a few photographs showing what might be this very guitar. One where Eric is in his garden with George Harrison and there's another one of Mark Bolan when he was at Eric's playing what looks like a black 355. These might be the guitar that he used that night at the forum, but we don't know. Some further photographs have come to light, again showing the ES guitar, the ES 355. And Ira Knopf, who took these photographs, said that he recalls they were playing I'm So Glad at the time he took them. Another really interesting piece of information that has been brought to my attention is a recording taken on the night by my friend Bruce Reed. He and his friend took along a tape recorder and they would stop and start the tape just to save, save space and get as much on as they could. One thing you can hear very clearly is at the end of I'm So Glad, Bruce announces the arrival of the Firebird, and then it goes into Sitting on Top of the World. <laughs> This is completely indisputable proof that on sitting on top of the world, at least, it's the Firebird. On a desk recording taken of the night, you can hear after White Room and before Politician, you can hear that Eric takes a jack out of one guitar and puts it into another guitar. The sound, if you're familiar with it, is completely unmistakable. That was a number from Wheels of Fire called White Room. The next one is also from Wheels of Fire and it's called The Politician. So 
So we know that between White Room and Politician, he switched guitars. From the same desk recording, between Politician and I'm So Glad, you can hear that Eric is strumming a few chords and then tuning a guitar up. And there are also a few noises that might suggest a change of guitar there also. So we know for sure that sitting on top of the world is the Firebird. And as just before that song, we can hear Bruce saying the Firebird was arriving. We know it was a different guitar. And we know the number before that was I'm So Glad. So he's obviously switching from the 355. And we have Ira's report of that. So for the first two numbers, he either used... Or he used the 355 to open with White Room, switched to the Firebird, then switched back to the 355 for I'm So Glad. Anyway, I'll be interested to hear what you think. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Cheers. Firebird comes 